down in Florida years ago. Looking to hang on to that ranking here against the oncoming challenge, who is perfect in the UFC thus far. That would be body bags, Joe Piper. Here's your till the tape for our main event. Jack Hermanson, experienced and older by eight years. Joe Piper, one inch taller at 6'2". It's a two and a half inch edge of reach with a betting underdog, Jack Hermanson. Setting the table one final time tonight is Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go! Live from the UFC Apex here in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the main event. Five rounds scheduled this in the UFC middleweight division. It is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the executive director, Jeff Mullen. The chairman is Dallas Haw. The three judges scoring at octagon side, Mike Bell, Sal D'Amato, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is ready. Las Vegas, make some noise if you are ready! <laughs> Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer, wrestler, standing six feet, two inches tall. Weighing it officially 185 and one half pounds in 14 fights. His record stands at 12 victories with two defeats. Fighting out of and representing Philadelphia PA USA. Here is Joe Buddy Bags Piper. And across the octagon stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in officially 185 pounds and in 31 fights. Holds a record of 23 victories with eight defeats. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, by way of Udevala, Sweden. Here is Jack, the Joker, All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions earlier. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Would you like to touch? Good luck. We'll see how it unfolds early for Jack Hermanson in his first action since December of 2022. Joe Pfeiffer back in the apex where he notched a submission victory in October over Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Right, Joe, ready? Jack, ready? UFC Fight Brass time. thought highly enough to give him a headliner on Super Bowl weekend in Las Vegas. Joe Piper's in the black, betting favorite. Jack Hermanson is in the whites. Ooh, heavy hook on his I mean, that was a hard shot. Yeah, he threw that to put him out already. I'm surprised it didn't even sit him down. That was heavy. And he's as fresh as he, he'll get right now, you know, but for Piper, as good as the left hook is. Oh, gosh. He's got a tremendous right hand, though. If he throws that right hand behind, these big left hooks, he might put Jack down. Calf kick to a left hook. I mean, that was fast and powerful. It's just quick speed. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer said he wasn't underestimating Jack Hermanson by any means, but was completely confident that he will, his words, dismantle him. I was talking to Rashad Evans here last week, and we were talking about some of the prospects, and he goes, you know who's really good? He goes, Joe Pfeiffer. He goes, I believe in it. He said, I think he is as good as advertised. Tonight we get an opportunity to see that against a ranked guy. Oh, looking to draw him into that big right. Hermanson pressuring. Yeah, that right hand got way too close for comfort. Yeah. That's like, that's a, now that even got Hermanson to step back and go, okay, hold on a second. I mean, just the other day, he was going to beat up the legs. Yep, his leg kicks are so powerful. Every time he lands, he knocks her Manson off balance. Left hook is on point tonight, Cruz. I mean, he's setting it up so well with the calf kick or the jab that he's not just throwing an empty left hook, he's setting it up so it's landing. Very clean. Very surprised Hermanson has made no attempt yet at a leg. 
Now there was an empty, empty hook to a cross and Hermanson saw it. But the other two hooks that are landing, it's a calf kick to a hook or a jab to a hook. There's the jab. Once he gets that jab going, that hook will keep getting set up and the calf kick will keep getting set up for Piper. It's all gonna come off that jab. Halfway through round one, combination comes from Pfeiffer again. And the difference is you're seeing Piper land with the hands to set up the kicks. Hermanson's pretty much just throwing kicks. You good? All right, this way. Piper looks very confident in there. All right, Joe, you good? All right, Jack, has got, Jack has got to find some respect, man. He's got to find a way to get this kid out of his face. He's got to learn how to, I think he's got to grab, learn how to grab a hold of him. Throw the punches to a clinch, get to a clinch. Don't just let Pyford be moving like this on the outside with his speed and his power. He's so explosive. I mean, it's just a big speed discrepancy here. And just a confidence in the stand-up. Hermanson doesn't look as confident standing with Pfeiffer. Defense. The defense oh, pushed him. Right lands that time. Hermanson may be compromised here. 90 seconds left in round one. But even watching Hermanson, it feels like he's trying to extend the fight. Right? You get through round one, then you start to build. You know that this kid is fresh. You know he's powerful. You know he's tough early. But how does he operate as the fight goes longer? For Jack, it's about trying to extend it past seven, eight minutes and see how Joe deals with getting into the long fight. And also to get it to the ground, which is no question where Hermanson's at his best. Top control, grappling. I think Pfeiffer needs to keep going that left hook to the body. It landed once. That'll really hook him up as the fight moves on to that head shot. Oh, another big right hand that time from Pfeiffer. And now Peppers the jab out front. Being poised though. I'm trying to force it in the first five minutes. Well, he's faking too, and you're seeing Hermanson's biting on those fakes. He's moving back, and he's he's just biting on everything. So that's a good start for Piper yes. to really keep unloading his hands the way he is already. The way Piper is just popping that shoulder faint. Hermanson can't make any mistakes, man, because they may be dire. Start. Your pain shouldn't be minimized or forgotten. When medicine gets better, all of us can get better. What are you doing? What are you having? Two Bud Lights, please. Actually, uh, make it a round for the bar. Round for the bar? Here we go. Here we go. Smith? Touchdown! Hey, cover girls. Plant power? It's a game changer. Introducing the ultimate plant powered mascara, called Clean Topia. 300% extreme lush volume. Now in dramatic ultramarine black. Clean Topia mascara, ultramarine black. From Cover Girl. Nice. Two weeks from tonight, Tijuana's own Brandon Moreno can expect a hero's welcome as he headlines the UFC's right, return to Mexico on. City against Brandon Roy Ball. Special five-round co-main as well. Yair Rodriguez takes on Brian Ortega. The UFC's return to Mexico is Saturday, February 24th, only on ESPN+. Plus. I think Piper's really got him biting on that left hook, so start going to the body now if you're Piper. There it is, straight to the body. And that's, he's gonna, he's setting it up. I mean, it's just paying dividends, putting money in the bank until that finishes there. He went right body shot, did big left hook. Cat kick's coming here, comes again soon. That left hook's gotta be tighter though. It can't be wide and loopy. You gotta throw four oh, shoulders. <laughs> that left hook looks sharp. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. 
Raise the body up. Another big over the top. But because Hermanson's backing up like that, there he is in the high crotch here. What's he gonna do? First What's he gonna opportunity. Do? He's gotta move him, man. Oh, you cannot just hold a single leg. You gotta move him. First shot of the fight from Hermanson to try to get it to the ground. 0 for 1. But again, he's gotta keep giving him that look. You gotta throw off the balance right when they grab that leg, right, DC? Yeah, you can't, you can't, you let can't just settle, squeeze man. it back up. You gotta off balance him the whole time. I'm surprised we're not seeing the calf kicks right now from Piper. He's gotten away from that, and they're there for him with this pressure. Hermanson seems to be going a little more forward now. It's his best bet. Yep. Right here on Pfeiffer all night. Not allowing Keep that pressure. Yeah, don't let him dictate. You got to go forward. He might need to tuck his chin a little bit. Try to get Piper to throw and deflect some of those shots off of his shoulders. And remember, as Piper's had so many quick finishes that, and you see why from that first round, but this is what Hermanson brings to the table. You can drag him to the later rounds, use his experience to really see what Piper's got. And on that note, in Joe Piper's career, only one time he's been the three round distance. Never been five, of course. And when you see these strikes, that's why you, you can see why. That's why it's so curious. Can he keep going past the third? We don't know yet. That's what happens in fighting. As you keep improving, you get guys like Jack Hermanson, a little tougher. They start to test you in areas that you haven't been tested before. But right now, Piper is passing that test with flying colors. I love the decision making to keep going to the body the way he's doing. We've seen too many guys tonight head hunting. When they miss the head, they don't go to the body. Piper's going straight to the body when you start seeing the adjustments from Hermanson. Watch fingers, Joe. It seems like Piper slowed down a little bit, trying to measure his attacks, not throwing everything 100% like he did early. Come on, guys, fight. Uh, Manson's starting to figure some things out, though. Yep, Don't get it twisted, tell. people. He's got the check of the calf kick, and he's got the pressure figured out, and he's seeing the strikes that Piper's throwing. He's made the reads. Only thing is, Jack isn't throwing enough. He's got to pop the jab. When he gets Piper cornered there, he's got to let his jab go. Now Piper advancing, trying to find a home for the right. In close. Big advancement for Piper. Uh, Hermanson did a good job blocking all of those shots there. I mean, those shots are off the arms. And he's getting much better with his defense yeah. in this round with his reads right and that. adjustments, yes. It looks like a big shot thrown by Piper, but Hermanson's doing a good job of keeping his hands high and his chin tucked. Yeah, that's a great adjustment. It does look much different in the second round for Hermanson. Boy, now he's actually got Piper going backwards a little bit. That's the key. That's what I'm learning. That's what we're learning about Piper. You, if you get him moving back, you got a good chance. But you'll find more success. Yeah. Hermanson's down two rounds, but he's finding it looks better as the fight's going a little longer. You give yourself a chance when you move him back. If yeah. Fight for move forward on you. It doesn't. But you look always too good. talked about running backwards. It's like the hardest thing in the world. You can't go backwards. Yeah. Final seconds of round two, and a nice response from the veteran Hermanson. Gone 10 minutes. We'll keep it here between rounds. No more breaks for the duration of the fight. Here you go. Should I win or lose? Listen, you won, bro. You won. You just made them feel comfortable at the end. You hear me? Yeah. Listen, you back up two and we not punching, you got to circle out. Yes, Let's not back up into the cage. Sure. That's one. We're two, on you land it three or four jabs to the body. Let's fake Can jab to the back? body. Go lead hook to the face. There you go. That's you hear me? You split his jab, overhand left hook. Right here, but you, you see Pfeiffer going forward. Nice shot to the body. Left hook land. It misses, right? That's too wide. Got to tighten it up a little bit. Beautiful jab to the body by Pfeiffer. Outside leg kick. Hermanson gets the leg raise. 
returns with a nice right hand. For Manson, while he might not have won that round, did start to find some success as the round went on. Alexander the Great Volkanovsky ready to show once again why he's the consensus featherweight GOAT as he takes on the oncoming force that is Ilya Topuria. You can watch this exclusively on ESPN right, Plus pay-per-view. By tour. now, through Monday, February 12th, receive a special offer, save $10 on the pay-per-view. Go to ESPNPlus.com slash PPV for details. All right, round three for just the second time in Piper's pro career. His only other time into a third round was his second fight back in 2018. This is going to be the key as this fight goes on. It's going to be how much does Pfeiffer allow for her man to the back him up. I'm really shocked we haven't seen that that double leg from Pfeiffer. I mean, that he shoots with his head on that on the left leg so fast. He gets underneath that jab, and he hasn't had one shot yet. The corner of Piper said they do not want Hermanson to feel comfortable. They felt like at the end of the last round, they allowed for Hermanson to start finding comfort inside the octagon by allowing him to move forward and dictate a little bit. Ninety seconds in around three. Piper looking for a combination from Manson. Sticks the jab a couple of times. Oh, this is not probably exactly what Hermanson wanted into round three. Deeper waters. He's been here before. Certainly more than Piper has. That was a good knee and a right hand off the break by Hermanson. Still just 0 for 1 on the takedown attempts for Hermanson. He has been content to strike. And he's not attempting him, which is very surprising. Joe, watch fingers. Oh, and softening up that lead leg of Pfeiffer. Man, Hermanson starting to find his groove here. It's the pressure that's the difference. Hermanson can move forward and back and find his way to make it through, whereas we're seeing Piper doesn't feel as good on his heels. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a punch. Oh, that was a punch. Backs punch. him up with a jab. Punch. Piper thought it was an eye poke. Mark Smith says no halting the action. Nice uppercut and tight there by Hermanson. Oh, take another look. Lower left to your screen as Piper trying to punch his way back into it. Legal strike on the left from Hermanson. Joe showed that one. Hermanson landed another beautiful right hand there. That's an example of what happens when you pressure people who want to shoot. The shot just doesn't come out as they want. Well, it was, it was, was so a, yeah, it was a slow, slow shot. It wasn't what he wanted. He's doing it to try to get Hermanson off of him right now. Nice jab by Hermanson. Jack Hermanson has changed the course of this fight behind his jab now. Yeah, huge round three for Hermanson. And the snowball is starting to roll downhill a little bit. Piper can't see out of his right oh, eye. It's getting to him right now. Nasty. It's getting to him. And he's not throwing any cap kicks he was, like he was in the beginning either. Three to one in round three. The striking ratio in favor of Hermanson thus far. Buck 20 to go. And it's only going to get worse, too. Yep. What Hermanson cannot do, though, is go ahead hunt. He's got to keep kicking. That kick is what allowed for him to really get back into the fight. He's up the calf of Piper. Each landing right hands with regularity here in the third. End of the day, if Pfeiffer gets out of this round, he's going to have a learning, big yeah. learning coming to him in these next two rounds because Hermanson's well, going nowhere. No, no, Hermanson's here for 25 minutes. Yep. He said it, and he's showing that he was telling you exactly the truth. Oh, Pfeiffer wobbles him with that jab. Caught him off balance, maybe, and now Hermanson's shelling up a little bit. Pfeiffer has Hermanson on the run for the moment. 
You want this if you're Hermanson, though. You want that big blow, hoping that Joe will empty the gas tank, because then you can sense possibly a little desperation, like, I've got to get this dude out of here. Pfeiffer landed to the body, and then up top, Hermanson lands on the leg kick. Oh, another jab by Jack. Shot in the final seconds that of Pfeiffer. Nice Gets in deep oh, and eats stop. some punishment for it. And three are in the books here in Vegas. Hermanson did a jumping knee while the guy was holding the single leg now, on the hey, other side. That was nice. Good. Things heating up here. He poke you? Yeah, right in my eyeball. Listen, you gave this to him. Understand? You see how you made him feel comfortable, and then you came back, and now he's backing up again? Here, grab the water. Take it as you will. Grab the water. We do not need to make him feel comfortable, Joey. You understand? Do not make him feel comfortable. You made him feel comfortable, he felt good. Come back. Exactly what we did the last round. Come back. But we need a little bit of head movement. You need to take this away. Take it away and make him pay. Understand? Take it away and make him pay. Circle. Circle. Find your angle. Circle. When the shot's there, take it. Jonathan Marquez, the lead corner, has put together quite a squad there in Philadelphia. Ready's his fighter for the fourth and possibly fifth round, new territory. Wait for me, guys. Up and coming back. fighter who is perfect in the UFC Jack, thus far, Jack Hermanson, putting him to the test. Four. Fights on. Get those live odds now. Yeah, live odds have swung all the way in favor of Hermanson at minus 230. I think Piper was up near minus 800 after five minutes. And it was the three to one favorite at the start of the fight. Because you can see it trending in, in, in Hermanson's favor. If he can get Piper going backwards as he has been, he will continue to find success off that jab. Joe needs to tighten oh. everything up, though. Joe's throwing big shots, opposed to things with technique. And I think the left leg of Piper is severely compromised at this point. He softened up the left leg of Hermanson, too, but Hermanson has drawn a reaction with each hit. Hermanson's been throwing it more consistently than Piper. So it's added up more. Well, everything's just straight from Jack. Like, it's a jab and a straight right hand. Whereas Joe explodes with big punches, and Jack is just shelling up every time he does that. I also think we'll find out after to what extent the vision is compromised of Piper right now. That was a legal punch from Hermanson, but it caught him right in the right eye, and he acknowledged it to his corner. Coach told him he needs Joe to move his head a little bit whenever he's in range. That'll benefit Piper. Go into the body there. Yeah. Now Piper stuck in the chat. Yeah, whatever his coach has said to him, they've definitely gotten some more urgency out of Piper in this round, but that'll take it away. Those cap kicks, you can be as tough as you want, but you can't move forward. Nice hook. Oh, nice hook. You can't move forward if that cap is compromised. Part of the Pfeiffer corner is Sean Brady, the ranked welterweight in the top ten. He was known for his grappling attack. But now they break back to space, and Pfeiffer trying to find a home for the jab. He's trying to walk forward as much as he can. Has to. He absolutely has to. He's a much different fighter when he's backing up. As he's going forward. Oh! oh big shot from Hermanson. I hate it. I mean, Piper's showing up outstanding in this fourth round. It's a back and forth fight, but he has not, he has not shown any kind of weakness whatsoever in this, oh, in this round. He's looking outstanding. He's trying, but yep. Jack is touching him up, Jack, man. Jack is doing everything he can, yeah. showing his experience, and he's winning this fight. And that's what he's done, exactly. He's relying on the experience as this fight goes longer. Piper did a good job, though, getting to the clinch, trying to settle himself. You know, when you're a young fighter, sometimes you got to find those moments to settle you. And then get back to his jab, because to start this round, the jab is really benefiting him. Piper leans heavy on a leg kick that time. 
padded leg strike. The advantage belongs to Hermanson. I mean, the defensive adjustments for Hermanson are something you have to really give credit to. He was taking a beating in the first round. Oh, he hasn't man. taken near that level of beating since That jab, then. that jab. He, Piper's just not moving his head like his corner told him. You hear the coaches. They're yelling at him. You've got to move, Joe. Piper switches to southpaw. And that's because of that calf. Yeah, that left leg is beaten up. That jab of Hermanson, man. Well, part of what's making that jab work is the calf kicks, do you see? Because he's got to turn his knee out, which makes him more square, so the jab lands more. So nice by Hermanson. He slowed him down, right? He can't really move as effectively as he did early in the fight because his leg's been beat up. Yeah. Watch fingers, John. Fingers. And you can't blade up as a fighter, so you get more square because you yep. don't want to eat any more of those kicks. Two from Piper, Hermanson staying right in his kitchen. Good timing on that shot, but Hermanson with great defense. Hermanson's doing a great job defending takedown. And really just taking it to him, honestly. Honestly, that's a big difference, though. Among yeah. Everybody Piper's fought, he's been able to get that takedown. He's shot three or four of those and hasn't, and that makes a difference oh in the fight alone. It won't take many more of those leg kicks. Final seconds around four tick away. We've fought 20 minutes here in Las Vegas. The momentum all on the side of Hermanson, but easy to think it might be 2 2 on the scorecard. Yes. Yeah. Very competitive. Stuart yep. Pesky That's it. Joey, I need you to be strong for five minutes, Joey. Joey, look at me. Do you want this? Yes, five minutes. Give it so. to us. Give it to us, motherfucker. <laughs> strong, look at me. Five minutes. Head, five minutes. Five minutes is all we five. got. Five strong, minutes. Joey. Check coach this motherfucker, but with fucking angles. You're giving him this leg. Take it away. Take it away. Or use the fucking footwork to back up, Joey. Don't give that shit up. I don't give a shit. Your lung, don't pay attention to your fucking lung. Here, motherfucker, five minutes. Five minutes, Joey. This will change your fucking five life, minutes. Joey. You understand me? Places in your life, Joey. You understand me? Show me your yes, fucking sir. father don't want you to see you fucking win. Let's go. Joey. You hear me? Yes, sir. You hear me? Yes, let's go, Joey. Hey, yeah. let's go. Right there, Smart. Now. Smart, Joey. Five minutes, Joey. Joe, All right, urgency from Jonathan Marquez in the corner. Not really tactical, all mental. As they guide Pfeiffer to the fifth round. Hermanson has been here before. The last time he went the full five was in February of 2022 when he fought Sean Strickland over the course of 25 minutes in this very building. And they're throwing heavy to start the fifth. You just see the difference in the posture. There it Hermanson's is. Hermanson's coming. Pfeiffer finding a hole for the left twice in the early going. And that team in Philadelphia prides itself on how hard they go in the training room. We'll see if it pays dividends now. He's gonna have to lean on that. Because at this moment, Jack Romance is gonna stay, try to stay forward on him and try to follow the same, the, he wants the fight to take the same path that it was last round, in the round prior. Where he's got Pfeiffer back against the octagon and he's just popping the jab and then throwing the outside leg kick occasionally. I think good combinations from Pfeiffer are what are missing. He needs a three, yep. four punch combo, finish with a kick, but throwing one or two at a time isn't working on Hermanson. Oh, sees it all. Another jab. Hermanson beats up the left leg again. Hermanson goes jab, jab. Then when Pfeiffer starts to think that he's going to go jab again, he hits him with the outside leg kick. Manson hasn't fully pinned up against the fence for the moment. Another right hand with Jack. Yeah, Piper's got to take control of this somehow. He's got to land something that matters. Hard high for Piper as he throws a big shot with three minutes to go in this fight. 
Oh, there it is, and attempts a takedown. And I was just going to say, if neither notched a takedown, you might be writing a different story. But Hermanson gets one at a key moment here. This is a key that Hermanson said. We got to put him on his back. This is a place we have not seen him yet. And here we are. Let's see how he looks. This is very important because Hermanson is as good at top control yeah. as anyone in the middleweight division. And notice how he's got his legs split there. He's got Piper with one option to go to his knees. Now Piper goes back to half guard. Manson has the legs laced up, staying busy with the right hand. And Manson has really put the volume on in the last several rounds. Jack Hermanson's top pressure. I mean, think about the Talis Lathis fight. Came back, finished Lathis, ground and pound, just rolled him. Gave Lathis no, no options off the bottom. And right now, Piper seems a bit stuck. He's got to do something to get back to his feet. He's got to start to find a hip. Get an underhook. He cannot lay under Jack Hermanson for the next minute and a half. The real issue here is he's losing the underhook battle from his back, so he can't get up. You've got to get underneath the armpits of Hermanson from the bottom. You've got to get your feet in the butterflies. You've got to get your legs in, intertwined in there in order to get to a hip. But right now, Hermanson's winning the pummel from the back. And I mean, look at Joe. He's got his hand over his head. That right arm is the one that's got to be trying to dig. It can't be the left side. It's got to be the side that he's got the half guard. Now he recovers full guard. Oh, my goodness. One minute to go in the apex. What a way for Hermanson to finish this yeah. fight. Awesome to watch a guy, longtime veteran, really rely on the knowledge and the experience to allow for him to really show a young fighter, a prospect, something different in the octagon. He just took him into the deep end. We were questioning that earlier. Mm -hmm. In round one, I was like, well, it just seems like Hermanson is biding his time. Get through the most dangerous parts of the fight and see if he can take over later, and that's exactly what he did. We'll see how the scorecards unfold after 30 more seconds. He might have dropped the first two rounds, but rounds three, four, and five, Hermanson seems. turned it on. Yeah. Seems. He could have got round two as well. Well, I know, but it sure seems, no, seems like three, four, and five were his. Yes, it does. But we never know. Yeah, you got to qualify it. I know. <laughs> You can never talk in absolutes when it comes to no, judging. No, you cannot. Never. Final 10 seconds as Hermanson used his one takedown of the fight in the fifth and final round wow. to keep it here. And Jack Hermanson, you got to think, he expects to hang on to that number 11 as he goes the distance with Joe Piper. Back in 30 seconds with the official decision. Looks like you won something there. Yeah, I did my tax guy and switched to h and Block. I feel like a tax champion. Is that easy? So much more convenient. I just walked in, met with an expert, or a pro can do your taxes online. And with their upfront transparent pricing, I knew the price before I even began. I've never won anything in my whole life. You should make the switch. There's still time, Todd. Have an h and Block tax pro do your taxes in person or online. It's better with block. Coming up next, right here on ESPN Plus. Don't miss a recap of all the action. It's the UFC Fight Night post show. Anthony Smith and Alan Joban will join Karen Bryant in studio to break it all down. Megan O'Levy has interviews with tonight's big winners. That's only on E Plus. Swedish by birth. He's lived in Norway since he was 19 years old. Jack Hermanson looking to hang on to his spot in the top 15. Joe Pfeiffer, career experience gained over the course of 25 minutes. How'd it go down? Here's Joe Martinez with the answer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the scorecards. All three judges see it. 48-47. Your winner by unanimous decision. Jack the Joker Hermanson! I'm here with